It's official, we are going to be getting Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2 on current gen systems. During the Nintendo Partner Showcase, this was recently announced that the Battlefront Classic Collection, which includes Battlefront 1 and 2, the original Battlefront games, is going to be releasing on PC, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox. And of course, everything is going to be included in these games, featuring the exclusive content that came out at the original release of the games. And to make things even better, we are going to be able to jump back into those 64 player multiplayer battles on our current gen systems now this is just a re-release uh from what i understand i don't think we're getting a remaster sure they might beef it up just a tad to play better on the current gen systems i'm sure they've made certain tweaks to make it play better maybe it'll look a little better if you've got the right setup but we are not getting a total overhaul it's still going to be older graphics but the fun is still going to be there and playing it on a current gen controller or on your PC or Nintendo Switch is just going to bring a whole new experience and a whole new amount of fun to the game. And if you've ever played the game in the past, you're probably going to relive a lot of great memories you had with certain maps and certain characters. Now, personally, I'm going to out myself here. I was not really conscious during the time of these games releases. I didn't have the systems to play it on, so I did not play these games. Uh, however, I have seen clips of it. I've seen gameplays. I've seen the battles. I know friends who have played it who are super hyped for this re-release, and it's honestly making me excited. I'm definitely going to play this game when it comes out. Game I guess I should say, and I'm gonna have my first Star Wars original Battlefront experience on my PS5, which I think is super cool. You're gonna bring in a whole new legacy of Star Wars gamers through the re-release of the original Battlefront games. And that sounds like what Lucasfilm is trying to go for. We heard the news about them dropping billion plus dollars on the Fortnite collab. And Bob Iger even said at the shareholders meeting that they need to focus more on games because he just now realized that kids spend a lot of screen time on video games. And that looks like exactly what we're getting. And this is going to be that first step. Now, we know Star Wars Outlaws was delayed. Was it delayed due to this going to be coming out? Did they just need more time with that game and kind of decided to switch up the release slate? Is that game going to come out at all after this? Because honestly, the hype for this versus the Outlaws game was significantly more. And I am not hating on the Outlaws game whatsoever. I'm going to play it and probably enjoy it when it comes out. But the fan feedback from the two games differed greatly. Regardless, I'm glad Lucasfilm is going in the game direction once again. I hope we get some great content from them. And I hope this is a great first stepping stone. I hope the game comes out and there's no bugs. And we're just able to play, get in those multiplayer lobbies and go crazy. I'm very excited to try the game out. And if you guys are interested in seeing playthroughs on the channel, I would definitely be down to do that. Maybe just throw some battle compilation clips up here and there so I don't flood the channel with gaming content. And of course, I'll keep you updated as that time gets closer. The release date is looking like March 14th. I've already got it in my calendar and I'll probably pre-order it if they add something to the pre-order, but as of now, I really don't have a reason to. But anyways, that's the news. I'm looking forward to this and I hope you guys are as well. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like on the video on your way out and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.